click is ETG. Eat the goose. Yeah, Introducing the, the two First racks a rapping. week yeah, I'm in challenge. The Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Which I need some proof. What? Just watch my videos, man. Video and then two no, racks a just week. showing all your 2500, 2500. I said, okay. Yeah, all right, that's what I can get with that. 68 I'm hours, so it was $2,075.16. Yeah, I work. Okay like 70 i don't remember like 73 74 hours i made uh like 3400 close to 3500 i made 2001 dollars 60 62 hours and i had uh 20 2400 introducing the two racks a week challenge All righty, all righty, all righty, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know what time it is here. We have another winner of the two racks a week challenge, man. Here we have, have Javon. Javon, do a quick introduction. Let her know which market you're driving in and which platform you mainly drive on. Hey, my man. Hey, Ron, I'm out of Chicago. I mainly drive Uber, but sometimes Lyft. Okay, nice. And um, how long have you been uh, doing Uber? Uh, two years. Two years? All right, nice. nice. Not too shabby. Two and, years. Um, I think I got I think I think got about six, close to 7,000 trips. Damn, that's pretty good. It went, it went by pretty fast, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Real fast, bro. Yeah, it definitely goes by fast. So, um, you know, how did you get started, you know, on your journey of, you know, driving Uber? Um, one of my partners was doing it, you know what I mean? And um, mm -hmm. he introduced me to it, you know, so I did it and he got his little uh, signing bonus or whatever. And I've okay. been going ever since. Oh, nice, nice. So, um, obviously, he showed you, you know, the earnings. He had to show you the earnings because... Like what? What was oh, yeah, appealing? Yeah. yeah, what was appealing oh, yeah. to you? He, he, he was showing me his earnings, man. I, I seen the earnings for one week, man, and it, it, it surprised me. It was like sixty one hundred dollars, and um, in a week, man, he was like, they went, yeah, one week, bro, one mm -hmm. week. It was like sixty one hundred, man, and um, uh, this was like this was like a year before. So I, I I've been on like two years. So this was like a year before he showed me his earnings. Like it was like sixty one hundred dollars. They had mm. mad crazy bonuses, and he was like just just dogging it, bro. Okay. All right, nice. And what and what were you doing uh, prior to you know doing Uber full time? Um, I was doing construction. Oh, construction. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah. So just like give like a little background, like what exactly you know happened. Like, yeah, yeah, explain, like, the transition. Like, how did you transition from, you know, doing, you know, construction to, you know, being a full-time Uber driver? Because people hear that, like, what? Like, why would you do that? What about the benefits? I'm not sure if you was union and all that. So, you yeah. know, explain to the audience okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was doing construction prior to COVID. And when, when COVID hit, you know what I mean? I got, everybody got laid off. And I wasn't doing that, just sitting around doing little side odd jobs, you know, mm. um, little, little home remodeling and stuff like that. And then I got in, I got introduced to Uber and I started driving. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, th I think a lot of people did get into it, you know, like during COVID, you know, because, you know, they lost their jobs or they got laid off and, you know, they wanted a way to to make money. So um, once you actually, you know, transition to doing this, did you have like any like worries? Were you looking forward to it? Or yeah, what were your thoughts? What was your mindset at that time? I was like, man, I hope this worked. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I hope this worked, mm -hmm. you know? And when I first started driving, I really wasn't making a lot of money. You know, I was I was probably making like a thousand dollars a week, you know. Yeah. Then I bumped it up to about fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, then you know, I then I I kept watching your videos. 
Okay. I kept watching your I kept seeing your videos and you like, man, just drive. So then I started just putting in the hours. I started doing 12 a day from 4 a.m. to 11 to 11 a.m. Then come chill out, then go back out at 2, 2 p.m. to 7, 7 p.m. And, and finishing out my 12 hour days, man, and then letting them hours run up, man, run the clock out. Mm hmm. Yeah, man, that's all I say, because, you know, a lot of people really don't know uh, what they are capable of. Yeah. Well, yeah. Once you implement it, you know, that strategy as far as, you know, just putting in more hours. Uh, oh, yeah. What were some of the results and changes that you've seen? Oh, man, it started going from 14, 1500 to 1900 to 2000. Okay. To twenty three hundred to twenty two hundred to twenty one hundred, no. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because a lot of times you know people. It's, it's not, yeah, people that will see like my not, videos or or other people who have made two thousand dollars, and yeah. they don't. It's either they. I think a lot of them just hate. You know, they don't want to believe it, so they want to try oh, to yeah. find some way oh, to you know downplay oh, it. But once oh, you yeah. actually implemented it and you hit your your first two racks a week, man. How did that feel? Man, that felt good, bro. <laughs> it, it felt, felt good. real good. Hell yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean, once you once you do it, then you know ain't no stopping because you know you get used to that two thousand dollars a week. You know what mm, I mean? Yeah, you're used to it. You know, but you get a lot of haters though. You know what I mean, man? That's mm -hmm. a lot of hours you putting in. Yeah, and I tell them if you were working at a plant or something. You gonna put the same amount of hours in, and you still ain't gonna make that. Right, right, yeah, yeah. I was just about to ask you that, um, because people are probably gonna want to know or compare, contrast, you know, some of the differences between you know you work in construction and you transition and doing Uber. Like, have you ever made two racks uh, doing construction in a week or uh, a week? Not in a week. Huh? Say that again, because you uh, you had cut out. Not in a week. Oh, okay. Nice, man. Yeah. Like every two weeks, not in one week. Okay, damn. So um yeah, that's wow. That's that's definitely a game changer. So it's like you pretty much doubled your income. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, the game is, man, it's about the hours you put in. What you put in is what you get out. Mm. I, I, absolutely. And um it's it's really like the formula is 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 kind of you know simple. Uh the theory is is very simple and easy to understand, man. The more hours, you, but most people know that the more hours you put in, the more money you could potentially make. But yeah. um, I like to get a little bit deeper because it's yeah. it's a little bit more to it from a psychological and a mindset uh, perspective. What uh, are some sure. of the changes that you had to make or as far as like motivating yourself to just stay out there? Because people know. Like, ah, oh, I got to do more hours to make more money. But what did you have to do? Like, what was your motivating factor? Like, what was your why? Man, I wanted a, a lifestyle change, man. You know what I mean? When you change your mindset, change your lifestyle, bro. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. And um, it, it's really that simple, that mindset. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. You was about to say something? Yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of. I sometimes I get a lot. I used to be in a. I used to be in a group over over group Chicago. Okay. And you get a lot of pushback. Oh, that ain't. Oh man, I can do this. Oh, you working? You working eighty hours? Man, I was like, man, it's if you working at a job, you are gonna work twelve hours. Period. Yeah. You know, most most plant jobs. Yeah, right, know? right. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, man, if you put the work, in, oh, that's not a flex. I say it's a flex to me. You know. You get a lot of haters, man. Yeah, and then you, know, you get then, then you get those those ones who like they want to know how I do it. Yeah, you know what I mean? They that's wanna, the ones I like. They wanna, right? They want to DM me to figure out what I'm doing, what's my hours, how I'm doing it. You know what yeah. I mean? And I give them a little bit of I give them a little bit of push. You know? Yeah. Then a, a couple of them, a couple of them been hitting some good numbers too, though. Who mm -hmm. I give a little, you know, a little information to. Yeah, yeah. And that's, you know, that's the people that I like to be around and, you know, the ones that I want to help because when I started, you know, this, like, I'm not sure if content exists like this or, you know, people willing like to show numbers because most people try to gatekeep stuff like this. 
like out of you know yeah. a scarcity mindset or oh you're gonna saturate the market or you know everybody gonna be doing this like man you could tell people what to do what times to start what hours to do where to be they still not gonna do it yeah so, <laughs> you have nothing you know to worry about and of course yeah. people gonna say oh yeah look how many hours that's always oh yeah 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 you know my like goal the is come back yeah my 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 goal is i don't I don't come in a house till I reach at least three hundred or something dollars mm, a day. There you go. You know what I mean? I stay yeah. out there. I don't come in unless I reach three hundred and something dollars a day. Absolutely. That's my that's my thing. Yeah. And man. I, I gotta go. That's every day. If I don't reach three hundred a day, I gotta stay out there till I reach that three hundred something dollars mm. a day. Mm, I, exactly. Three hundred. That's that's a good goal to have. And I always say if people want to make two racks, you know, uh if you drive seven days a week, that's two hundred you know, $86 if you round up, but you doing like 300, like, uh, a little bit more than three. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Like how, how are you able to just solidify that? Because people would, they would know like, all right, I need to make $300 a day, but then they don't have that. Uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Like it's not emotionalized and they're not committed. Yeah. They're not committed to doing it. Yeah. Cause you, you said I'm gonna be committed. out there till I get it. Like, what made you get you gotta to that be point? Committed. You got to be committed, bro. If you want yeah. something, you go get it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? If you want something, you go get it. Like I say, I stay out there till I make that that goal. And if it, if if, it, if I still got hours on the clock left after I make the three, I keep going to that to that twelve hours run out. Yeah, to yeah. that clock run out. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, man. So now let's uh. Let's show them what, what the hell that you made. Let's get it. Hold on, let me. I'm, I went to, I'm so used to going to Uber. I went to my Uber app. Just give me one second so I can pull up your screenshot. All right, hold up. Change the settings. All right, here we go. Here's his numbers right here. Bam. Y'all see it? 71. Let me. It should be a lot better. You'll probably see. It. There we go. Seventy-one hours, fifty-three minutes, a hundred and six. Yeah, one hundred sixty-nine trips for two thousand two hundred and nine dollars. Not too shabby. That's not too shabby. Yeah. Two racks a week, man. Six seventy-one hours. So uh, people to, like you. If somebody gonna say, "Well, that's a lot of hours," yeah, they, some people think I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, why? Why do you? Well, first, like, how are you able to? Because I'm pretty sure you could do this, you know, consistently. How are you able to psychologically, you know, put in, you know, 71 hours, you know, uh, you know, consistently? Because people see that they already get intimidated. You know, they see, Man, like, I they got, see that seven, like, ooh, 30 more hours yeah. extra. I don't know if I can do that. I got a wife. I got a family, dogs. Man, just, right, right. You can, still have, you can still have a life and family, you know what I mean? Depend on what hours you do, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a mind, it's a mindset thing, you know? You got to have it. You got to have a willpower, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, man. You, def you definitely You know, do. we call around, around here. Around Chicago, we say you gotta have the nuts and the guts, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. Hey, you ain't got to no guts, you ain't gonna get no money. Right. Yeah, the nuts and the guts. I like that. And and yes, you hundred percent right, man. It's like the nuts and the guts. Like how how bad do you want it? Like what are your goals? Like what are you striving? For? Like what are you striving for? And if you don't want to make two racks a week, which I don't know why. It's like, what? Yeah. what is your standard for yourself? Or you just, I drive whenever I feel like, uh, I'm going to make $200 this week. Then next week, okay, I'll grind it out. You know, maybe make uh, $1,200. Oh, now this week is rent week, so I'll put yeah. in more hours. Where's the uh, consistency? Right, right. Yeah. So that's how you, and why, why do you think people get intimidated, like, for I don't, 60, I don't, 60, 70, sometimes it's 80 hours. I don't know, bro. They t some people like, you don't got no life. I'm like, I got plenty of life. Right. You know? I, I, I can reach two, I can reach two racks by, by Friday and I can chill. I think you know you, uh, your mic is covered or something. Oh, okay. oh yeah. there you go, I said, there you go. 
I can do two racks by Friday until. Yeah. I say I tell him I tell him like you can have plenty life. You do you you go you can go three straight and one week off if you want to. Yeah. You know, you still making you still making over over six thousand some dollars a month. Mm. You know, you gotta look at it like that. Cause sometimes I take a week off. Yeah. No, you a hundred percent right. You know, I think the biggest thing is it's like they they overcomplicated thing instead of just really breaking it down piece by piece. You know, it all starts off, you know, what the goal in mind is for the week. Let's say it's to make two thousand dollars, aka two yeah. weeks a week. Now, how can you do it uh one bite at a time? Okay, start off wait, you know, waking up earlier. You know, yeah. stop sleeping in so damn late. If you wake up like around four or five AM, you get that yeah. early start. So, yeah, and tell you the yeah, tell you the truth, you can do it whenever you come outside, bro. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put them hours in. Yeah. You know, even if you even if you get ten hours in a day, you know what I'm saying? You That's and seventy you, hours, yeah. Yeah, you working, man. You gonna make that money, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was able to buy I was able to buy a box truck off of this. Okay. You know? Yeah. So and, and I I got a I gotta drive. You know what I mean? Well, I'm driving Uber. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely have to you know circle circle back to that, but um oh, yeah. yeah like it's it's all about you know structuring your life, man, because that's what people you know struggle with. They you you overcomplicate it, and but oh it's too many hours, it's too many this. But then you'll go work at a job, and especially if you don't have any significant significant skills, then let's say you have to do labor work, and if you at a factory or a plant or something. You gonna eventually have twelve hour shift, so you already doing the twelve. But oh, they got mandatory. They got mandatory overtime in plants. I don't yeah, care which yeah. one it is. Yep. I don't oh, care right. which one it is. You might do sixteen. Yeah. I don't care which one it is. No, you and 100%. you still ain't and you still ain't making two racks a week. Right. <laughs> exactly, man. And like you said, even if you do ten hours a day. You know, that's that's 70 hours a week. So that's how you can easily get your, you know, 60, 70 hours. And if you start early, let's say you start at 6 a.m., bam, you do six hours. You did half your, half your day is, is noon. You know, people yeah. that just not going to lunch, you already work six hours. So, like, if you want to, yeah. you know, take an hour break, a nap, whatever, you could be done by, like, you know, 6, 7 o'clock. Or if you drive all the way through, you're done by 4.35. So then For you have sure. the rest of your day. So it's really about structuring, structuring your day, and, and most importantly, you know, keeping that big goal in mind. Um, and I know you mentioned that you bought a, a box yeah. truck out of that. Um, yeah. How did you get uh, that um, – what's the words I'm looking for? The desire to buy a box truck or that vision. Yeah. Like, did it well, come from once you, know, you start driving and start making to... and start making a uh, significant money? But like, okay, now, nah, now nah, I could get oh, this yeah. truck. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Now I'm in the make find another one. Okay, <laughs> hell yeah, man. And and you know, and that's and that's the crazy thing because there's so many benefits, you know, to doing this. Of course, it's not perfect. Of course, you have to go through repairs. Of course, you got to go through adversity and setbacks. But if you look for the benefits and you look for the growth, there are so many different ways that you could win and come out on top. But people are oh, yeah. so busy focused on how many hours uh, you have to work, how much, you know, what percentage that the company is taking. You know, they use, like you worried about too much, man. Just stay in your own lane. Too much, bro. Yeah. Too much. Even, even even though they cut rates, I still make good. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. I still make good. It's right. about putting in the hours. Putting the work, man. Yeah, yeah. Putting the hard hours. Working, mm -hmm. Hard working. Hard working dedication paid off, man. Yeah, exactly. And um and I think most importantly, it's not even, you know, really about like the hours and um uh, yeah, it's not it's not about the hours. It's more so you working for your goals and you work for yourself. Like you you yeah. bought a box truck, now you're about to buy another one. And you just using this as leverage to, you know, fund your dreams. And it's unfortunate that most people 
Yeah, it's unfortunate that most people don't see it like that because they're too busy focusing yeah. on what the company is doing and somebody else. And it's like, hold on, man, you got the opportunity mm -hmm. to make $2,000 or more a week, which most people can't do at their job, but you focus on hours yeah. and you could work whatever shift that you want, whatever times that you want. So you can really structure whatever your day. Whatever time you want. Yeah, you can structure your day whatever or whatever and however you want to do it, but, you know, you focus on the wrong things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. No, nah, that's what's up, man. It's, Box. I'm trying to think of anybody it's else. It's a good Box. thing, man. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think that anybody else uh, bought any box trucks. Maybe I can't remember. But um, you know, I'm I'm real big on you know talking about you know like readapting your mindset and you know overcoming adversities. What are some of like the challenges? you know, within the past two years that you faced and how are you able to overcome them? Well, the challenges was, you know, you get negative people in your ear. Oh, the rates are cutting, man. We ain't making no money. Yeah. You know, it's slow. It's, you know, but you got to keep going. You got to push through all that. You got to push through it all. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely. You know, once your, mind, once, your, once your mind is made up, Hey, this is not a lifetime thing. This is just a stone, a stepping stone to get where I really need to be, you right. know. And once you, even when you get where you need to be, if you won't still come out and drive every now and then, it's cool, you know. I make a lot of good, I make a lot of good connections. I meet a lot of people, you know. It's 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 a good thing, you know. Yeah, absolutely, man. And you know, it's, it's people, the mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get people asking me, man, how do you do it? Man, how do you put all that wear and tear on your car? I say, you know what? I bought I bought this specific car just strictly for Uber. Right. Strictly for Uber. That's it. Right. Yeah, I don't see, that's another thing I don't understand. It's like, you know, people they put more priority on their car compared to their goals. It's just yeah. it's a tool. Like you oh, the wear and tear on the car. I don't care about the car. It's gonna it's probably gonna yeah. mess yeah. up, break down eventually. That's what's gonna happen. It's inevitable. You gonna get it, you can get another car. Yeah, get another car. But what about your goals? What about the growth? That's where right. you know that fear and all the worry and doubt, it's like they're missing out on the opportunity to grow and get closer to their goals because they worried about a car. <laughs> yeah, too many of their minds stuck in the box, man. You got to think outside the box. Yeah, and that's and that's sad, man. Yeah, yeah. What uh, when people were being like or saying like negative stuff, was it more like family and friends? Like what? Like you not about to go back to do construction? No, it wasn't. It's, it's yeah, it's just just like friends and you know different people. Yeah, but I'm a hustler. Yeah, you gotta if you, if you got the mentality, you gonna get it, bro. Oh yeah, for, you oh, know ain't sure. nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing stop you if you got the if you if, if dedicated to what you doing. Yeah, did any of your friends say uh, Uber? That's not a real job. Did you hear anything like that or what? Like why would you do that? Yeah, I had a few people tell me that, and once I show numbers, they they trying to get in. <laughs> It's, it's funny. It's funny how that how that works. He went for oh, it's not a real job, and you show them real money. Then they want to, hey man, like oh yeah, yeah. How how did how this thing work? Like what you doing? Mm hmm. And another thing, you know, back in back in April, back in back in April, I had one. I had one week. I did like three k. Mm. April. Hell yeah. Chicago's a big market, man. You know, so it's all even though drivers is open. So, uh, so they got, I think your phone going in and out. Chicago's a big market, even though it's a mark with a lot of drivers, it's still open. It's it yeah. be made here. Oh, yeah, man. It's, I think it's, it's money. A, it's a tourist town. Yeah, I think it's money in uh, most major cities because. You know, people, it's, it's human nature. 
You know, people, they not going to be consistent. They don't yeah. want to work, you know, especially doing this. Because the theory, for most people, the theory sound good. Like, oh, I could drive Uber or Lyft, you know, uh, work when I want to work, be my own boss. But they can't even wake up on time. They can't work. They can't be disciplined. <laughs> they can't structure their life. They can't set goals. So then they start, you know, making complaints. But, man, it's, yeah. it's, it's money going to be out there because people, they don't, they don't want to be consistent. And especially... You know, if you waking up late and let's say you're struggling to make, let's say you're struggling to even make like $1,200, $1,500. It's like you already, you feel defeated. You, your mindset yeah. is not there. Then you got to wake up, get out there and drive. You irritated people, you know, talking, ask you the same questions over and over again. It gets monotonous and they're like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to do it no more. But yeah, you, know, you have to override you know, that. Yeah, I feel I feel like this, bro. Mm -hmm. 1200 1500 that should be a three day that's 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 a three day job. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You should have that in three days if you dedicate. If you dedicate it, you should have that in three days. Yeah. This is the only plat these are the only platforms that I know. If you need a thousand dollars, you can go out there and get it in three days. Right. For real. If you nah. dedicate it. Yep. And you could get in three days. You could get and you could cash out, you know, like every single day, five times a day if you want to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, what I started doing every time I reach 500, I cash it. Out. OK. Every time I reach 500, I cash it out because I had I had a situation a few times where is I had I had money in, in the account mm -hmm. and then it just disappeared. For real, damn. Oh yeah, like like two hundred something dollars twice it just disappeared. Oh yeah, you got to cash. Yeah, cash that thing out. <laughs> make sure you get it. Oh yeah. So ever since that been happening, I, I just cash it right out, man. Right. Yeah. That ain't. That's crazy, man. Yeah. yeah so yeah. So if y'all watching this, you know, just you know, cash out. Especially, you know, you hit a the most money that you ever made for that particular day. Yeah. You know, just cash out, get it. Within like what ten seconds into your uh, bank account, that, and that's I, another. And then you know that's another benefit, man, because you know you you work, bam, you get to get the money right. Oh there. yeah, yeah. You don't have to wait a week or two weeks, and you know, oh oh, it's a holiday, so damn. Now it's now yeah. correct deposits delayed an extra day or so. You know, you get your you get your money right then and there. That's why I really like, yeah. you know, Uber and Lyft. <clears throat> the instant cash out. Yeah. I, yeah, I also get a lot of people ask me, man, how do all how, how do you get tips from all your customers? I tell them you gotta be a people's person. You gotta make them yeah. feel good. You yeah. know what I mean? You gotta make them feel good about themselves. I, I, I don't think it's I think I get I get 98% of tips out of out of out, out of all my clients, man. Mm, that's pretty so good. So I gotta be doing something right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of people, you know, they'll they'll put candy to water bottles and you know all that stuff, but man, it's you got to make you got to make them feel something, make them feel good. Oh yeah. You know? Got to add value to them in some way shape you or gotta form. Add, you got to have value, man. I get them coming in, man, and tell them, you know, they come in and with a bad day, man. I make their day feel good. I have, you know, by the time they get out the car, they tell me, man, you made my day feel, you, you made my day feel good. Yeah, I've heard that a lot too. And that's, you know, that's a gift, man. And and I also think, you know, that comes with, you know, uh, experience and time in the car because you're talking to so many people, you get more comfortable, yeah. you know, you can relate to them, you become a mm -hmm. better listener. And that's, yeah. that's a lot of people just missing. They just want somebody to, Ask them questions, make them feel good, and just listen to them. And it's really that simple. Oh yeah, <laughs> you the you you the, you the, you the driver and you the listener. The driver, the listener, you the, you the, therapist. Like, you the, you're the therapist, therapist. You the therapist. <laughs> yeah, relationship coach. You like, damn, you everything, you everything to them, yeah. all in one. You know, all in one. You know, and that, and that's and that's the cool. That's another like cool aspect because you have so many different you know conversations and and stuff. But 
the most important thing is is just the attitude, man. If you don't have the you know the proper attitude. mindset and the proper attitude before you even get in a car, then your whole experience is gonna be messed up. Uh, that's why you know I'm always you know trying to find ways to be thankful and you know be grateful for this opportunity because a lot of people they want to shit on Uber or Lyft and like oh look how many hours look at this, but if they couldn't drive and they had to go back to a to work or a factory or whatever, then they gonna be like, damn, I had the opportunity, you know, to work on my own schedule, uh, make oh, yeah. two racks a week, cash out every single day. Now I gotta wait a week or two weeks to get paid. And <clears throat> yeah. yeah. My thing is, man, why well, I tell people, save your money. Mm -hmm. Save your money, man. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you never know. Yeah. You know, save your money. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, I had a guy call me yesterday, man. I, can you please help me out? You know, uh, man, they deactivated me. I say, why? Why they deactivate you? He said, well, I was drunk. <laughs> they somebody said he was. <laughs> oh, oh, he, oh, okay. Was he drunk or? <laughs> no, I don't even think he drank, man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's he drank. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, but I got I got some other stuff going. I got a lot of different stuff going, on, bro. So, you know, it's it, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, damn man, that's well, that's unfortunate, you know. Uh, yeah, you know that's what that's. I guess that's one of the negative things about it. You are dealing with people, and unfortunately, you know, people could be shady. They want to lie to try to get some type of, you know, compensation. You know, a free ride or mm -hmm. just some, just some silly. It's like what? Because I, you know, I had a couple situations like that myself. Yeah, that's why. That's why when you're doing this, you must set yourself up for success. Mm. Just, just in case stuff like this. Yeah. You know, you got other things going on. You know what I mean? Like I'm on both apps. I'm on Uber and Lyft, but I do yeah. Uber more than Lyft anyway. So, right, right. You know, I got you know, I'm I'm set. I'm you know, you got you got to set yourself up. You know, absolutely. You know, get both apps, and um, shit, just get out there, and get busy. You know, you know, get out do. there, and get busy. Save, save. Get out there, get busy. Save your money. Drive. Make you two racks a week, and you be balling. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And um uh, like you know, I'm big on, you know, using some of that money for like personal development, you know, uh another opportunity because you know, tomorrow isn't promised. I mean, yeah, we got the opportunity to make two racks a week or more, but it's like the next step is, you know, trying to uh set up I think for most people, I think most people had a desire to, you know, set up their own business and have complete control of their life and not have to worry about getting deactivated or how much they getting uh per ride or something. It's like they want to set their own prices and and stuff like that. So if that's what you want to do, yeah. you know, you definitely see, you know, save some money, but also use some of that money to invest in yourself. Cause I know a lot exactly. of y'all probably, you know, sports betting and, you know, day trading or whatever kind of spending money on weed and alcohol. What other kind of vices y'all have, man? Use some of that money uh, for some courses, education, go back to school, whatever, whatever you're trying to do, man, because that's also important. Uh, yeah. Like you said, you got you a box truck and you, you know, looking to get another one, man. Use some of that money, try to I'm make get, some more money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you use, you use one, one avenue to get to where you want to go and that, that avenue to get where you really want to go. Yeah. So I, I'm, when I'm when I'm leading to the box truck, I'm on real estate. Okay. Yeah, and, and that's why you know I like doing these calls. And, and I, well, before I get to that, why do you think you know this challenge is is so important? It's to motivate. It's to motivate everybody, man, to, to get out there and really, really grind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, and um. Uh, what what made you want to be, yeah? What made you want to be a part of this, uh, like the two racks a week challenge? Because, like I said, man, a lot of people they'll see it, they will have one foot in, one foot out. Maybe they'll make excuses. Man. Maybe they think I'm capping. 
But like, what made you like? What was it that made you want to be a, like a part of it? Like, you know, man, I want to make two racks. Man, my thing is to show people that it can be done, yeah. even with the low fares out there. It still mm. can be done. You put in the work, you will get the you will get the results. Absolutely. Hey, you know, another thing I like about it is. It's like if people come across these videos, not even me, just if they just see other people, forget me. Now, you've seen enough of me, but if you see other people and especially the market that you in and you see that they made two racks, you have officially fucked yourself, even from a psychological perspective, because how do you look? You come across a video, somebody, a driver is in your market. They made more money than you. They made two racks a week. Now you have a, a decision to make. Like, damn, do I want to try it or do I just want to stay where I'm at? And only a hater or somebody with a negative mindset would just sit there and be like, nah, I don't want to do it in line, but look how many hours or, you know, uh, will they take this? I get or... that a lot. Mm -hmm. I get that Haters. a lot. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Some of them say, oh, you must have a big bonus. Okay, if I did have a big, if I had a bonus, it ain't it ain't, it ain't nothing but probably a hundred. I, I still make two racks a week, bro. But the thing <laughs> is, man, like, all right, check this out, right? Let's let's say that was true. Let's say you had a thousand dollar bonus. If you had a thousand dollar bonus, that means if you and the the group, where they should at least have a bonus too, right? <laughs> exactly. So how I can wish you there hate? was thousand dollar bonuses out there. But but that's the thing it's it's a, it's a lose lose because all right they complain about how many hours you had to do and the low earnings. But if they if they gave a bonus and you still hit it, oh well you had a bonus. If you don't get the bonus, you still hit it. Well look how many hours. It's like they never happy. Never happy. Never, never happy, happy, bro. Man. It's like just people you just can't please them, man. But you know, you, that's what, what you. You know what you got to do? You got to blank all that out. Oh, you know yeah. I mean, that's I, negativity. And keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I, 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 like, I like the negativity because I like... We need these people because we use them as references. Because if we didn't have people like this and everybody was making, you know, significant money, two racks a week or more, it just wouldn't be valuable and wouldn't have the same effect. The, the fact that we could come on here and celebrate you know, earning two racks a week or more is because people like that. We need these negative yeah. people. So thank y'all. Thank y'all for, for being negative. Thank y'all for staying at the level that y'all want to stay at. We need you. We appreciate We appreciate y'all. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> yeah, and, it, and it's interesting because you're going, because I remember uh, I was posting like my earnings on Reddit. It's the same thing, but oh, we don't care. Oh, you're just bragging. Or look how many hours you're a slave. It's like, yeah, like damn, yeah. like what I do, like you hey, went over it, some it, earnings. It, 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 let me tell you, let me let me tell you this one here. It mm -hmm. don't matter the hours; it matters the profits. Yep, that's it. Hours don't matter; profits matter. That's you know it, what I mean? Man. And we still doing two racks a week, putting in the hours and the profits. So you like I had I had I had people tell me oh man you working you working two weeks worth of work in one week I'm making profits that's what I tell them. I'm making profits it, okay <laughs> let, with, with that logic if I'm working two weeks in one week that means I should get to my goals faster than you so okay that's fine like exactly like people exactly it's like. You're not gonna hurt my feelings or make me mad. You could just stay at the level that you at in virtue signal and try to make yourself feel better. I don't care. You don't have to work. I mean, that's what makes me want to go even harder because yeah. I know you're not willing to do it. Because if I could work double right. double the hours that you work, still make my content, still work out, you know, still hang out with girls, like I got a life. Like, how do you don't have a life? Hey, 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 hey Ronnie. You Yo, 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 but your channel, your YouTube channel, man, is a big impact on, 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 on a lot of what I do, though, man, right now, though, you know? Thank you, man. It, it, it give me that, it give me that, it, it give me that push, like, man, Ronnie can do it. I know I can do it. I keep it going. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, because even, even, like, when I do these calls, it, it just, 
it pushes me as well. People don't even realize, you know, how it keep me focused and, you know, keep me inspired just doing these calls and, you know, hearing uh, the gratitude and the thank yous and, you know, watching, yeah. you know, people who I never even met just, you know, it's like their life is changing. I could see it oh, yeah. in, in yeah. their face, yeah. their actions, like hearing their yeah. stories. You know, that, you know, that's what it's really about, you know, readapting, you know, visioning and levitating, man. That's why, you know, I'm always going to, you know, preach it because it's just so, you know, essential for, you know, your success. And, yeah. you know, we should, we're we going to keep celebrating, man. We're going to keep, sure. it, keep once, the people negative. Once, I, I tell them this. Once you get your first taste of two racks a week, <laughs> you ain't going to never want to stop. You're going to keep it going. That right. that give you the motivation right there. Yeah, it's going to give you the motivation. It's going to give you the, the competence. And you're going to think like, damn, why didn't I do this, you know, much sooner? It's going to be so many benefits. Yeah. And you're going to start to think like, okay, if I do this, X amount of weeks. Okay, I could have this much money. I could buy this. Okay, I could pay this off. I could do this. It's like light bulbs just gonna start flashing. So it's just so many, you know, different rewards and different benefits and different, yeah, different benefits from doing this, man. So, or you don't have to do it. It's the, that's another. Good, the choice yeah. is yours. Either you could do it or you don't have to do it. We don't care, you know, because it's gonna be. You we know, don't people, care. We gonna, still gonna get our. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. People still gonna continue to to win, and you know, hopefully it's you. Hopefully, if it's not, yeah. oh well. But yeah, man, like oh, yeah. you know, before we get up out of here, man, give them some last, you know, minute words of inspiration, encouragement for the drivers who uh, haven't made two racks a week, or the people who thinking about, damn, I'm at this dead end job. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, doing this, but I'm worried about what my family has to say, my girl, uh, yeah, her, my man, boyfriend, whatever, whatever, the naysayers. What type of words would you have for them? Man, it don't matter what nobody says about your goals. You know, get I say get out there and do it. Push, push till you can't push no more, man. My thing is run the clock out and keep working, man. Long as you keep running that clock out and keep working, you're gonna push for that two thousand dollars a week or more. Mm, absolutely. Guaranteed. Man. Yep. And like like he like he said, man, it's, it's about your goals, man. Like once you have a a solid goal that you emotionalize and something that you truly desire. Cause anybody could like if you could I got a goal, but I want to do this, but it's not something that you could really feel or see yourself doing, you're not going to do it. So really think about it. Like really think about what you want and what's going to keep you like focused because times it's going to hey, be times where you don't want to wake up on time. Hey, like, Hey, Ronnie, mm -hmm. you, not the, you want to know what I tell a lot of people. Go ahead. I say you got negative. I tell them you got negativity. You making $50,000 a year on a job. Mm -hmm. I make that in four like that in four months, five mm. months, you know, that's what I tell them. Yeah. <laughs> Once you put it like that, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, like I said earlier, you know, the, the choices is really yours, man. Like you could level up, you know, start to readapt it, you know, create that vision for your life and, you know, go out there and actually try, or you could just stay where you at and, you know, just have a, a average life and it's, you know, no life of conquest and you trying to reach your full potential and you really trying to, you know, live life, you know, live a happy life. And I think that's why a lot of people are, you know, unfulfilled and miserable because they not, they not striving for anything. They not trying to do better because doing this, man, you right. feel good about yourself. And that's what a lot of people need. They need hey, to feel good about yeah. themselves. God damn it. Yeah. As of now, as now I'm able to do do. I got free time. I can travel. I, I'm I'm you know, I can eat good. Go where I want to go, and I don't have any money problem. You know. Right. So I tell people this: stay mo stay stay down till you really get out. You know, mm. stay down till you get out. Till you till you till your bank account look decent, then you'll be all right, man. 
You know, then you can move on to the next step. You don't have to yeah. still stay in this one stone. You can move on to the next step. Yeah, exactly. You know, even if you tired, yeah, even if you tired, you're going to get tired at work. Keep going. Keep right. pushing. You, you can do this thing for a whole year straight. You can do this thing for a whole year straight. Make enough money and, and then move on to your goals. Or you can keep doing it. Right. Uh, absolutely, man. And, you know, that's how it is. Shout out to Javon, Chicago Market, another winner of the two racks a week <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. And uh, we're going to keep this thing going. I think we a couple away from 100. So, uh, as a matter of fact, let me look right now to double check. Let me see what number you are. Let's put this thing low. Uh, oh, yep, you're number 98. So we getting close. We getting close. This is, and, and keep in mind, this is just people who had came on and done interviews. It's not including the people who sent me their screenshots who didn't want to come on. So yeah. it's over 100 for sure. Yeah, you know, but this yeah. is this recorded interview, so uh, y'all should, and it's all y'all. I mean, shit, I just posted the videos and created a challenge. It's all y'all doing, so you know, feel good about yourself, yeah. and you know, this could be you, man. That's all I really have to say. You want to say any last things? Hey, man, all I got to tell them is keep pushing, keep pushing, keep grinding. And in the end, you'll be shining. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the uh, the other one? Uh, no nuts, no good. What is, was it? No nuts, no guts. Nope, no. You in in this thing, you gotta have the nuts and the guts. Okay. Nope. <laughs> exactly, the nuts and the guts. So we're gonna end it right there. If you ain't got the nuts and the guts, <laughs> get out the way. Right. Right. <laughs> You heard the man. We're going to end it right there. Two racks a week. Holla back. Peace. Two racks a week. Two racks a week. Ronnie Speed. Yeah, Ronnie Speed. Speed. 60 hours.